Now Weather with meteorologist Beth Finello. Good evening and thanks for joining us. You might have been woken up by some thunder or the sound of hail or the sound of rain on your window this morning and that's because we had a line of storms go through very early this morning. You'd see this loop showing things were quiet but by 7, 8, 9 o'clock this storm system came through and brought in a severe thunderstorm warning here in Greene County. This same storm system not only affecting us here in the Ozarks. There was a tornado that went through Columbus, Mississippi and just took roofs off houses, took these cinder blocks and really Really just threw them on top of that car if you could see that and took this power pole and just dumped it right on top of this truck and this storm system is very large. We are not the only ones dealing with it. We just have wind advisories here in the Ozarks. There's blizzard warnings that extend from Nebraska up through Iowa and into Minnesota. There's flood warnings and flood watches and there was a tornado watch in Mississippi and Alabama this morning. So this system very large and it is still snowing in parts of Nebraska and Iowa here in the Ozarks. So things are quiet but Boy, are they windy. We have a wind gust of 45 miles an hour that came in just a couple of minutes ago here in Springfield, and we're going to keep these gusty winds throughout much of the overnight hours. This is what I was talking about. Look at this. Still snowing up in parts of Iowa and Minnesota and still raining down in parts of Tennessee and into Kentucky as well. Like I said, here in the Ozarks, things are quiet. We've got some clouds rolling in from our west, and we've got very windy conditions. Tower cam not showing a whole lot, but temperatures starting to drop. 44 degrees right now. Look at this. West wind sustained at 23 miles per hour which is why we have this wind advisory in effect. For Northwest Arkansas, your wind advisory was extended till 1 a.m. Sunday morning for the rest of the Ozarks. This will continue until 6 a.m. Sunday morning. And a couple things to remember, could have some difficult driving conditions, so just be careful next to those high-profile vehicles and tie down and take in any loose objects. Here are the peak wind gusts that we've seen so far. We've got a 57-mile-an-hour wind gust out of Joplin, 49 here in Springfield, 47 down in Nixa, 45 in Branson and 30 down in Ava. Look at this 23 mile an hour sustained winds right now in Springfield, 24 out in Joplin. We had a 45 mile an hour wind gust here in Springfield within the last hour and a 29 down in Branson. Temperatures today, though, you wouldn't know that it was storming this morning because it was so warm. 64 degrees in Springfield, 66 in Branson. And let's play the game of find the cold front, really just slicing us right in half. 44 degrees in Springfield, but 55 still down in Branson. We're about three degrees warmer than we were at this time yesterday, but you could see the warmer air here will get pushed out by that cold front that will come through. Overnight tonight, temperatures will drop into the upper 20s and lower 30s. Tomorrow, temperatures a little bit cooler, only making it into the middle and upper 40s. And by the time you walk out the door Monday morning, temperatures will again be in the 20s. We're going to keep the gusty winds through the overnight hours, and they'll slowly taper off through the day tomorrow. By the time we wake up, still have gusts up to 40 miles an hour possible. And then watch what happens through the day. Those winds will slowly become a lot calmer. We'll be looking between 5 to 10 mile an hour winds. Overnight tonight, quiet, calm, and cold. Temperatures dropping into the upper 20s and lower 30s. Cooler tomorrow with the northwest wind at 10 to 20 miles an hour. And again, tapering off through the day with temperatures at about 47 tomorrow. Now we're going to keep the warmer temperatures starting at the beginning of the week. And then it looks like we'll have increasing clouds Tuesday ahead of our next shower system for Wednesday, possibly into Thursday and Friday. And then it looks like a cold blast on Saturday. Always Saturday. <laughs> always Saturday. We're always here talking about something that happened during the day. I agree. And then that wind, boy, it almost blew my car off yeah, the road. Yeah, it's really breezy. It is. Thanks so much, Beth. <laughs>